A complete guide to construction risk management part 1. The construction industry is said to be filled with a lot of risks and they may be very high. If you work or do business in this field, it can be helpful to have some of the best insights on how you can better manage these present hazards. In doing so, you can mitigate the present risks by creating a safer workplace for everybody, and accidents may also be mitigated. Apart from safety, do note that there are legal standards that you're required to follow. Otherwise, if the aforementioned factors aren't met, you may run into trouble with regulators. Therefore, it's a pressing need to comply with construction risk management for it's a vital part of your daily operations. This article details a complete guide to construction risk management for you to know where and how to possibly begin handling different hazards present in the workplace. Start by understanding the different sources of construction risk. The first step in building a robust construction risk management system is understanding the different sources of construction risks. Typically, they would come along the lines of the following. Environmental risks, like flooding, earthquakes, and other natural phenomena. Safety risks, which depend on, and are inherent on construction sites, or also referred to as construction zone related accidents and risks. Project risks, which are hazards relating to poor management of resources, misunderstanding of project deliverables, and miscalculation of time. Cover the basics first. Now that you're aware of the possible sources of construction risks, it's time to cover the basics first. Construction risk management may feel like a Herculean task to succeed on if you're overwhelmed by everything you have to handle in the workplace. Hence, it helps to start dealing with the basics first, in your pursuit not just of managing construction risks, but also improving on-site safety culture. Start doing this by tackling the possible causes of some of the most commonly regarded injuries in the workplace. They're along the lines of Fractures Overexertion Cuts Falls, slips, or trips Sprains, strains, or muscle tears Once you've covered and identified these, that's when you can begin assessing your current workplace's situation to provide possible solutions in reducing the present risks. Once that's covered, you can move on to the other less pressing needs in your construction workplace. For more information call 469-370-7501 or visit interstateheavyequipment.com.